and out. Two weeks ago, we had one of the worst weeks of tipping in the history of tipping competitions. This week was only slightly better. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the official Egg Footy Tipping Competition Round 13 predictions. Now, this was a peculiar week. We had a very shit Friday night footy game, and we had two really, really good Sunday afternoon games. So AFL need to look at their scheduling a little bit, I reckon. But in any case, uh, we're chuckling along nicely. I got through the first round of buys relatively unscathed. I'm going to put my tips on screen right now. I was looking all right for a little bit. I went free and zip. And then in typical Bulldogs fashion, they made me very, very angry. Gold Coast Suns got us back on track. And then GWS fell literally at the last second to the Richmond Tigers. And then the Bombers came in clutch with a very lucky win against the Kangaroos. Now I'm very happy and also very unhappy at this because I really wanted Kangaroos to win. So yeah, five out of seven for round 12, which for only five tips sounds really bad, but you know, considering I only got two wrong, I'll, I'll cop it. Let's have a look now at the top 10 of the tipping competition. If you're still in the top 10 at this stage of the season, well done to you. You're very, very talented. As for me, I'm doing okay. I've kind of bottomed out at 140. Hopefully I can get closer to the top by the end of the season, but uh, I wouldn't hold my breath if I was you. I wouldn't be putting bets on it anyway. But yeah, we only got eight games this week again, which is less work for me. I'll take it. And without further ado, let's jump into the round 13 predictions. Finally, we've got the much anticipated return of Thursday Night Footy. At the SCG, we've got Sydney Swans taking on the St. Kilda Saints. Now, 73% of people on the website reckon Sydney's going to get up. I do agree with that. I'm going to back Sydney this week, but it, this this was trickier. I don't think it's as cut and dry as people think. It's going to be a closer game than people think. And I think St. Kilda have every chance of winning this game. I think 27% is too, too harsh for the Saints. You know, it is the SCG. It is Sydney's home ground. They have started to find some form a little bit, but you know, yeah, St. Kilda is going to put up a hell of a fight. So it's going to be interesting to see how that one goes down. Friday night at Marvel Stadium, we've got the Western Bulldogs taking on Port Adelaide. Now, I do have Port Adelaide winning this one against the Bulldogs, and I am very confident in that. I think even though the Bulldogs showed some good signs against Geelong last week, I still think Port Adelaide are going to come out on top. The Bulldogs will do okay. They won't they won't get flogged, but you know, I think when it's all said and done, I think Port Adelaide's going to be able to get the W and move to 10 wins in a row, which is fucking terrifying. Next up, Saturday at the MC CG, we've got Hawthorne taking on my Lions. Now, just a reminder, I've got my rule in place where I have to always back my Brisbane Lions, even if it hinders my tipping. I'm still going to back them in anyway because that's my team. But in this case, you know, even without the without the rule, I, I feel pretty confident in backing Brisbane. Uh, you know, three and nine against eight and three. But at the same time, you know, Hawthorne have been a good matchup for Brisbane historically. The last couple games have been pretty close. Hawthorne have gotten the jump on us the last two games, and it's purely because, like, you know, you know, Brisbane have imported a lot of Hawthorne's game plan with Chris Fagan coming in, Grant Birchall, Jack Gunston, Luke Hodge coming in to play for us as we rebuilt ourselves from a laughing stock to a potential contender. So, you know, naturally, Hawthorne's going to be more competitive than people think. In this case, however, I think... Brisbane should get up, but you know anything can happen with the Hawthorne game. It's always a weird game for us. Meanwhile, at Adelaide Oval, we've got the Adelaide Crows taking on the West Coast Eagles. Now, Gold Coast did beat the Adelaide Crows in Darwin, but you know, given the fact that it is West Coast Eagles, I feel very comfortable in tipping the Adelaide Crows, and I think tipping the West Coast Eagles at this point is tipping competition suicide. But yeah, Adelaide are really, really good at home. They are not as good away. God, where have we seen that before? Um, and I think they should uh, absolutely destroy 
the West Coast Eagles. I have it on good money. That'll be very unpleasant viewing if you're a West Coast Eagles fan. Saturday night at Optus Stadium, we've got Fremantle taking on Richmond. You know, as good as Richmond were last week against GWS, I'm still going to back in Fremantle. I think they're starting to come good. They're looking way better than they did at the beginning of the year. Uh, it's very impressive how they've been able to turn it around from where they were. And, and I think given it's at Optus Stadium, it's their home ground, they're in better form at the moment than Richmond. I think I'm going to back Fremantle to get up against Richmond by about 30 odd points or something like that. Sunday Arvo at Blundstone Arena, we've got North Melbourne taking on GWS. Now, 83% of people on the website reckon the Orange team are going to get up. And I agree, I'm going to back GWS for this game. But, you know, I think it's going to be closer than people think. This could this could very well be a 50-50 game. You know, North Melbourne have slowly been getting better week in, week out. Barely losing to Sydney, hanging in there with Collingwood. Just missing out against Essendon. They are due for a win, massively due for a win. But despite that, I'm still going to back in GWS because it's the safe option. But it could go either way. It's, it's, this could be a 50-50 game. It is in Tassie after all. Now, Sunday night at the MCG, we've got Carlton taking on Essendon. Now, we do have Essendon as the favourites in this game, but I'm going to go ahead and back Carlton to get up against Essendon. You're probably going to think I'm a fucking retard, but I think they're due for a win. They showed a little bit against Melbourne last week. That was a pretty shit game, but, you know, against Essendon, I think I think they should be able to get up against Essendon. It's just, I've, I've got that as my upset game for this week. If they do win, I'm going to look like a genius. If Essendon inevitably win, I'm going to look like an absolute fool, but you know what? That's a risk I'm willing to take. Finally, King's birthday at the MCG. We've got Melbourne taking on Collingwood. Now, 79% of people on the website reckon Collingwood's going to get up, and I agree. I've got Collingwood getting up against Melbourne just because, at the moment, I think Collingwood are an objectively better side. They should have no problem in taking down Melbourne, who have been kind of spotty over the last couple of weeks. They lost to Fremantle, had a really, really, really ugly win against Carlton. I think Collingwood have no business losing this game. It'll be a big disappointment for the Collingwood fans if they manage to lose against Melbourne. Um, they should be able to take care of it pretty comfortably by about 20, 30 points, something like that. Not a flogging, because Melbourne are a pretty good team, but you know enough to be a convincing win for Collingwood, I reckon. And there you have it. If your team's having a bye this weekend, then fuck, it's going to be a long weekend for you. Uh, do you reckon these tips are good? Do you reckon they're bad? Who have you got winning this week? Uh, make sure to let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, drop a like, subscribe, all that jazz. Tell your mates. Now, before I let you go, I'd like to give a special shout out to these channel members. Sharks Ray, Big Mac John, Gamer Cam, Rory Lob the Flog has changed his name to Studi Sucks at AFL 23. Uh, boy, that's going to get me in trouble. Matty McDarts, and we've got a new member. I agree with that guy that said North is better than my Lions. Fuck me, that's a mouthful. And North North Melbourne is better than my Lions. These are our tier three channel members, and that's one of the perks. I get to read out your name on YouTube, your username. So if you want me to read your name out or read some stupid shit that makes me angry, make sure to get amongst the tier three channel option on the channel. And we also have tier one and tier two options available as well. If you can't uh, fork out 15 bucks a month, the link is in the bio. I would really appreciate your support.